still hit a button and deleted it. Whoopsie! <laughs> and then I thought somebody was in my house, and I'm home alone, so I got the scissors, because, you know, you can totally kill somebody with scissors. Yeah. Wait, is that gonna hurt? Well, it's not the blade, so it's not gonna hurt me. Well, this is definitely sharp, so if I stab it, it's gonna hurt. Yeah, if I use pressure, it's gonna hurt. Ow! Hitting you so violently with scissors hurts! But anyways, look at my makeup. Look at this. Even though it's really creepy, I'm pretty impressed with myself. Like, this is a cool Halloween look. And I am so excited for fall! Oh my god, guys! You have no idea how excited I am. I am excited to go to school and to have fall come in. Cause, I mean, I've had an amazing summer, and I love summer. I go summer, fall, spring, winter. I just can't stand the cold, so that's why winter is my least favorite season. Um, But, you know, I still love it because there's Christmas, and there's snow, and yeah. So I'm just so excited for fall because it'll cool down more because uh, it's been very hot here in Pennsylvania and sometimes the heat is just insufferable and I, that's why I'm inside today and I've just been messing around with makeup because you know that's what happens when you leave me alone, home alone. And yes, I'm still in my PJs at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm not going anywhere so... What's the point of getting changed if you're just going to sit home all day and do nothing? You know? But I'm just so impressed with my makeup skills. Like, this was the first time doing eyeliner, and I think this looks pretty cool. It's like an Egyptian-type halloween -y awesome eyeliner. And, like, my hand was trembling doing it. I was like, oh, my God, I'm going to screw this up. It's going to be terrible. But then it actually ended up being pretty cool. I have eyeliner on. Um... Mascara, that pencil thing, what's it called? What is it called? Super Skinny Marker. That's what I use for this. Uh, cat eye, whatever it's called. Whatever this is called. <laughs> and then I have MAC World on my lips. Because, you know, no makeup is complete without your MAC. But I am so excited for fall. Because I have so many fun things that I do in fall. And last year I had soccer every Saturday. And Saturday is when we like to have our day trips. Me, Mommy, and Richie. And, um, where we like to go to, like, New Jersey for the day. Or we we'll go to Delaware for the day. Uh, we like to go to the Delaware uh, Christiana Mall. Because that has all the shops I like. And the Exca Mall sucks now. Um, the Exca Mall is the mall I used to go to in PA. But it stinks. They took out every good store. They don't even have Air Pastel or Air Pastel, 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 Pastel. I don't even know how to pronounce it because Bethany is the only person I know that says Air Pastel and everyone else says Air Pastel. And that's what I usually say, so I don't know. Um, but, uh, they took out Forever 21, Air Pastel, Deb. Well, Deb closed everywhere. Um, they took Mac and Lush out, like, years ago, before I, like, when I was, like, three, or whatever. Like, when I was too young to even know what those stores meant. Uh, they took Starbucks out. They took that out, like, five years, four years ago. No. What am I even talking about two years ago? Uh, what else did they take out? They took out pretty much any cool store. They took that out. Like, they don't even, they used to have the Disney store when I was younger, and when I was, like, ten, they got rid of it. Now, that was, that put me in, like, a really sadness. Like, I, not depression. Like, I was just, like, I, what I mean by this is, like, I was so sad and mad at my mall. I was like, how dare you take away my pride and joy. I was always so excited to go into Disney in my mall, but now they took it out. So, that sucked. And also, what else is there? So, fall! Yeah, so that's why we go to Delaware now, because it's fun and because it's easier. Uh, but, yeah, fall, oh my gosh, there's so many things I love to do during fall. And, yeah, since I had soccer last year, we weren't able to go on our day trips to those places. And, because soccer was every Saturday, and it was like a two-hour game, and I'd be tired after it. And this year I'm not doing soccer because 
I don't like playing with older girls. Last year I played with younger girls, and older girls are much more competitive, and I don't like competitive people, especially because when I tried playing with older girls, they were very snotty and mean, and they weren't as nice as the younger girls, and the younger girls were very accepting, and they loved you, they pretty much adored me, and they thought I was really good, and they were so sweet and kind, so I don't want to play with older girls, because they're just going to be mean and ignorant, and then not, like, looking to have friendships, they're just looking to win, so... Anyways, so fall, we're going to go on day trips, so we're going to have fun, and we always go to Lim Villa every year. I used to go to with this one certain friend, but sadly we're not friends anymore, and that's another story for another time. But I used, I took Grace last year, because I was the first year going without that one friend. Well, like, no, we've been going a couple years, like three years without her, two years without her. Uh, when I finally decided to bring a friend. And... It was Grace, and she brought her mom, but sadly, it was not a great day because of reasons that don't need to be talked about. Uh, so this year, I really don't think I want to bring, like, I'm wondering, no, it was not because of Grace, it was because of John, my brother, that's why it was not a great day, and, yeah. But, uh, this year, I'm really excited to go to Lim Villa, because I always love going to Lim Villa. Lim Villa is an apple orchard, it's a pumpkin patch, like, you can go pick pumpkins, apples, uh... And in the summertime, I, I don't know, if they're open in the summertime. I think they're only for the fall, but if they are in the summertime, I bet they have berries. Um, and Lim Villa has this whole setup for fall, and it's, like, so cool. Like, here, let me pull up pictures. It's just amazing. Lim Villa is so cool. I love Lim Villa. And it's just something where you just enjoy it. Like, you can never get old of Lim Villa. It has this really cool playground that now... There's an age requirement, so I'm not allowed to go in it anymore, even though I'm short enough to pull it off. <laughs> um, it's, Lim Villa is just amazing. I, I can't even explain to you guys how much I love Lim Villa. Um, it's, it's just amazing. And it's Halloween. I love, love, love Halloween. Halloween is so cool. And there's just, I just love how, like, the outfit, like, this was my favorite fall outfit last year. And I just love the fashion that we wear, well, that everybody wears. I just love the fashion, and I love like sweater wearing sweaters and I love watching all the YouTubers make Halloween videos and I love watching Graveyard Girl during the fall time. I love watching her Halloween videos because she is so Halloween obsessed like me and she does all these cool videos and oh my gosh I'm just so excited oh my god ah you don't even know it I love I'm I'm one of those girls that's going to be trick or treating when she is old, like, when she's old, like, she's, I'll just take my grandchildren trick-or-treating, because I just want to walk around with them, and I'll probably dress up with them, and I'll be the mom who will decorate her house inside and out, and be the over-the-top mom who decorates for every holiday, and goes way over the top with her decorations, uh, oh, here's some villa, okay, and it's cool, because they have, they have two gift shops, where they have their own bakery, and they have a petting zoo. Like, they have everything. So, here, let's go through my pictures. So, here's inside one of the gift shops. There's the turkeys. 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 Uh, they have a corn maze you can go through. That was our time. It's not coming into focus, though. There it is. We took 20 minutes. Like, bro, we got lost so much in there. You don't even know it. And here's the corn maze again. And then here's outside. The, uh, remember I told you this? The whole display for Halloween? Here it is. Oops. Here's more of it, Scarecrow. And then, like, there's this huge doll and haunted house. Oops, they, you don't actually go in, though. So, they have all these little fairy tales set up, like, who is this? Peter Piper picked a pumpkin. Ah, uh, why do I keep doing this? There's Cinderella. There's me with Cinderella. 
there's me, Cinderella, and Snow White, and it's so cool because they decorate the pumpkins for some of the people. They decorate the pumpkins. Uh, like, let me zoom in. Like, here's Cinderella, and then there's the pumpkins you see sitting next to her. Those are, like, Humpty Dumpty's on the wall, and underneath Humpty Dumpty, those are the seven dwarves. And then here's Raggedy Ann, and there's Cinderella, Snow White, and Raggedy Ann and me. Uh, and her stepsisters are behind us. Like, look. And it's just so cool how they display this. And her big carriage is behind us as well. They just, just set up this whole scene for you. And it's just amazing how well they do it. Here, it's a better picture. See, you see how, like, the uh, men look like, like, they make one look like Doc. One looks like bashful and sneezy and grumpy. Where's grumpy? Oh, there's Doc. Sitting with his glasses and the green hat. He can't see it, but he is the one that's blacked out right there. Um, and then here's Humpty Dumpty on the wall. And Raggedy Ann, and here's the haunted house that they have. And on the graves, there's all these jokes. And you see Dracula, and it shows the myth of Dracula. And you can see Frankenstein over here. There. Um, and then they also have Blackbeard, and the myth of Blackbeard. Uh, like, here's one Blackbeard, well known pirate, rumored to frequent his mistress's house in Marcus Hook looking for his head in gold. What the heck does that even mean? Here lies Joe, hippie. He's gratefully dead. Poor old Randy ate too much candy. Yeah, so like, it's just like jokes like that. Here Dan lies buried in Lynn Villa Pies. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, and then here's this pretty cool pumpkin that I took a picture of because And yeah, and then it's just so much fun. And my brother's birthday is in uh, October, and we always do something fun for his birthday. Like last year, we went to Dave and Buster's, and we got hibachi. Even though I hate the hibachi, I love watching the show. So it was cool. It was fun. And I always get to bring at least a friend. I get at least one friend to bring, and I brought Grace to Dave and Buster's. Oh, did I bring Grace? Yeah, I remember, because she told me to stop complaining about being hungry. <laughs> um... Yeah, and so, I'm just excited for fall, because I love fall, there's so many fun things we do, then villa, apple picking, pumpkin picking, and I always, like, have, like, a checklist of things I want to do, um, and I love apple cider, and I always, always, always end up sick, or, like, I end up being either actually really badly sick, or I just feel kind of under the weather, and then I just over-exaggerate it to my parents, so they will make me, so they'll let me stay home, and the entire day, I watch Halloween movies, and I eat candy corn, and apple cider, and it's just an awesome day, and even, and I love being sick out of school, because I'm like, sucka, saw you in school, I'm out here, I'm watching my awesome television, I'm eating food, and you're all learning, sucka. I literally, I just, like, feel like the queen when I'm homesick. And then, also, I love, um, how on ABC Family, they play all my favorite, all my faves, Casper, Halloween Town, Twitches, all of my faves. Well, actually, Twitches is on Disney Channel. Uh, but ABC Family just does movie marathons every, every weekend. And they play, uh, The Addams Family, and I love The Addams Family, and... Monstober on Disney Channel is amazing too, and I love watching all, even though I hate most of the shows nowadays on Disney Channel, I will watch the reruns of old, old shows like Shake It Up, and like Good Luck Charlie, and Tana Montana for Halloween episodes, and I will still watch today's Halloween episodes, because I love watching the Halloween episodes of my shows. And I hope they do a pretty well Irish one this year. But anyways, it's just amazing Halloween time. Like, there's this whole feeling in the air. Like, there's a smell to fall. There's a feeling of fall in the air. It's just everything fall. And everything's good and happy and awesome. 
And I just love ball, and I love my family, and I love my life, and I'm just going to keep living it to the fullest. Because that's all you can do. You can just live it in the way God would want you to, and that's what you should do. Live your life according to God. And just have fun and enjoy everything you get. Like, you only get one life, so you should enjoy it. And even if something bad's happening in your life, you just got to keep going and press forward, you know? So I hope you all have a magical day. Have fun and embrace yourself and embrace life. And just have fun. And I love you all. You're all my queens. And I hope you all have a fantabulous day. Mwah! Ooh, okay. <laughs> Bye, guys.